Howdy, this video is to help you register for classes by using the class search function. So the first thing you want to do is click the My Record tab. Once you've clicked this tab, you can access class search via this button at the top of your portal, or you can scroll down to the registration box and select search class schedule. Before you do that, make sure that you accept the terms of use, update your location, and then also check your lab safety acknowledgement. Failure to do those could prevent you from registration, so make sure you take care of those beforehand. That way you can access the classes that you need and be able to add those to your schedule once your registration time opens. I'm going to select class schedule from this box. From here, you'll see a drop down menu. You can select the term that you're looking for. Uh, I'm going to work within fall 2020 and then I'm going to hit continue. Now, um, if you're looking for an ag elective, you can do that through the advanced search. You'll just need to scroll down to college and select agriculture and life sciences. That's a good way to find an ag elective. I know lots of students usually have questions on what ag electives are available to them. Otherwise, if you know the course that you're looking for, you can select that in the subject area. There's a drop down box that you can scroll through or you can just type it in. So I'm going to work with AgCom today, Ag Communications and Journalism. If you know the course number specifically that you're looking for, you can tap that in. Otherwise, just click search. At this point, um, you'll be able to see all of the courses that are available within Ag Communications and Journalism. I'm going to start by talking about uh, the view here that you see. So first of all, you can see the title of the course. Uh, you can see the CRN if you're still adding CRNs to your worksheet. Subject course number section, the hours, you can see instructors. Uh, the attribute, this column is important because this will tell you if it's an in-person class or an online class. So if you see um, anything that has distance education, that obviously means that it's online. You can also see that um, in the term type, it's web-based, and also there are no meeting times because it's not a face-to-face -face section. So in-person uh, classes will say traditional, face-to-face. -face. You'll see uh, these. this first course here is offered Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. 1130 to 1220, it gives you the building number and the room number and then the dates that it's offered. Over here in status, you can see how many seats are available. As long as there are seats remaining, um, you'll be able to see that. So obviously registration has not opened yet and there are 51 out of 51 seats remaining. If you're scrolling through classes and you see a big red um, exclamation point that says full, that obviously means the course is full or it has not been open yet for seats. So if you have a question, reach out to your advisor and they can give you a little bit more information. So scrolling back up here to the top for AgCom 105, um, if I want to know some information about the course, I click on that. The main thing to look for is the restrictions and the prerequisites for courses that you're interested in. So I'm going to click restrictions. Uh, this course says that you must be enrolled in one of the following fields of study, Ag Communications and Journalism. This means if you are not an AgCom major that you will not be able to take this course. So this only applies if you are within this major. I click prereqs -re and there are none available, so I can close. Uh, you may notice that there is a course underneath that. That's the exact same time, exact same place. So what's the difference? So if I click on the second course and I go to restrictions, I'll see that I cannot be enrolled in Ag Communications and Journalism. So this means that as long as I am not an Ag Comm and Journalism student, I'm allowed to take this course. And this is important if you're interested in Ag Comm for um, an Ag elective. So let's find a course that has a prereq. Let's go to 312. So for this class, uh, let's say I want to add that to my schedule. I go to Restrictions. I have to be enrolled in Ag Communications and Journalism. And then the prerequisite is that I have to have completed AgCom 105. If I'm currently enrolled in AgCom 105, then I won't be able to add this class until after my grades post. This is the same for some courses that require a certain grade level. So let's show one of those as an example. And for this one, I'm going to go to Ag Science. So for this one, Ag Science 302, I click here, I look at restrictions, I have to be a junior at least 60 to 89 hours. So if I have 59 hours, I will not be able to add this course, so I have to wait until grades post. So that is how to use the class function. Uh, we will be producing another video that has information on how to use the registration worksheet very soon.